Okay guys, so we are in the final stage. So I've collected about uh, six and a half gallons. It's right here. I'm uh, ready to start the brew kettle. So let me just uh, explain this brew kettle a little bit. This is the most powerful, uh, you know, of the three elements here, the hot liquor tank, the RIMS module and the brew kettle. This is the most powerful one because uh, it's not a 120 volt system. It's a 240 volt circuit. So I hooked up a 240 volt circuit from a basement. I'm gonna switch it on right now, like that, it's on now, and uh, it's hooked up to, with a 75 amp relay right there, you can see it's also, um, you know, backed up by a large aluminum heat sink, because it, it actually conducts about 25 amperes of power, so it uh, gets heated up uh, very fast, right, so, and uh, a signal wire is coming from the, the Arduino microcontroller, from there like that. So what I'm going to do now is uh, <clears throat> reset the Arduino microcontroller one more time because it will uh, help me keep track of the time. Okay, so here you go. I'm resetting it right now. And then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, switch my mode to the, the main brew kettle and uh, on. Okay, so that is going to switch on the relay. You can see the relay has uh, switched on so in a little bit it's going to heat up this uh, six and a half okay, gallons I'm in uh, like 10 minutes of the boil process I've actually added all my hops into this uh, hop bag um, the water is constantly boiling there's in about uh, 50 more minutes of boiling okay so I'll come back and show you the second hop addition it's kind of cold out there and it's uh, just started raining. Alright guys, it's about uh, 45 minutes, so I'm gonna add the uh, two ounces of halves right now. It's um, one is a cascade, one ounce. The other one is a sentinel halves, one ounce. Okay, so let's uh, throw this in. I'll be back uh, in another 15 minutes when I shut down the system, okay? Okay guys, it's about uh, one hour. Uh, this is the final piece, I guess. Uh, there are two more ounces of hops I'm gonna add. These are warrior hops. You can see right here, warrior, okay? Let's throw these bad boys in the bag. And that's the entire brew process. So I'm gonna let this sit for like uh, another 20 minutes, or maybe actually 10 minutes, and then uh, I'm gonna I hook up all my uh, the water chiller here. So I'm gonna cool it and then put it in the ferment. Then I can piss the yeast. In, okay, I'll be back in like 10 minutes. Okay. Alright, guys. I've uh, hooked up uh, the water chiller. That's the the water line that's coming back into this uh, water chiller. That's uh, the outlet. That's my garden hose going back out. Um, and this is the, the actual water, the hot water, hot water that will come into this uh, water chiller. And then it will get cooled here. And then um, via this, it's going to come into this ferment. Okay. So let me start this. Actually, let me start. Uh, Guys, while the water is cooling down, I wanted to show the efficiency of the system. So let me actually take a sample here. Alrighty. So let's check this out. I think I'm reading 180. So the recipe said uh, it's going to give me 1065, but I got an efficiency of 1080. Actually, 1075. I'm sorry. 
which is not bad at all. I think I'm uh, more than uh, what they told me I can get. So the recipe called for 1065. I'm doing uh, 1075. Okay, guys. Um, I just added the yeast, uh, covered it, put the uh, the airlock on. You can see right there. Um, so it's ready to go into fermentation for about two weeks. So it's a 1065 beer. I got a 1075. So it was a really good brew day. All right. Yeah. See you later. Bye. This is after uh, one day. Uh, yesterday night I uh, brewed the batch, pitched in the yeast. So this is the fermentation process after uh, one day. You can see the bubbles already coming out. Uh, what I've done here is uh, I've set my fermenter in my uh, water tub and I'm actually uh, maintaining the temperature uh, at around uh, 68 or 69 using the aquarium water heater. You can see the aquarium water heater right there that's coming in to the water uh, inside the, the tub and uh, you can see uh, the other white cable that's going up that's the thermometer uh, it will show you what the current temperature of the water around the fermenter is it's at uh, around uh, 69 so that's perfect for an ale anywhere uh, below 75 I'm good so it's uh, about 69 right now okay so that's the airlock you can see the bubbles coming out